Woo! What is up, you lovely, beautiful friends? Man, it's good to be out. It is uh, Sunday here in Victoria, Australia. Whoa, hitting up this bit of a muddy start to this trail. I thought we'd go do a bit of a wee, a bit of off-roading on the V10, V10F. Because uh, I'm just so happy I've got a wheel again. Oh my goodness. So I just spent, uh, I don't know, about half an hour, 45 minutes, a little coffee, replying to all your amazing messages. Um, I'm so grateful and thankful that you know I took a bit of a break from the old YouTube there, um, especially... Uh, electric unicycle videos, my e-wheel videos. Man, I should put my sunnies on. I'm going to stick my sunnies on, wait there. I did get them out because we've got some direct, beautiful sunlight over there. <laughs> yeah, thank you for everyone who was there. Uh, I don't know. I can't really see the road very well. I made that mistake. I bought these cheap sunglasses back in the UK and I was wearing them when I first started riding electric unicycles my V8 and I remember I just didn't see a bump and I hit a bump and I flew off it whilst holding a coffee and that was the day where I bought this helmet anyway <laughs> yeah I'm just so happy you guys have uh, still tuning into these videos um, after the break uh, and you know you some way you still value my opinion on oh there's so many midges how I feel about these wheels let's get past this guy here Woohoo! oh this is awesome yeah buddy <laughs> I don't need to make that noise anymore so yeah what was I saying yeah, I was just replying to all your comments and I thought I'd just uh, come out, make it. I was coming out for a ride anyway because it's such a beautiful Sunday um, and I thought I'd just talk about some of the things that people have been asking on the video I just posted but also on a few other videos because it's quite cool to see new people who are coming into the world of electric unicycles and then coming across my videos. Um, and then looking at some of the older videos that I did, uh, you know, almost over a year ago now when we did those European stuff, and it's so, so nice to look back on and see what they're commenting on, that sort of stuff. So um, if you're watching this, you know, I've, I've left you a, a reply and stuff. It's always nice to get a, you know, a, a message through the, the audio visual land oh there's so many midges on my face oh my god <laughs> let's get some of those uh, cycling glasses um yeah so good comments loads of them and the views are there it's nice man it's nice uh, and i guess because we were talking about you know i titled it uh just having a chat about the s18 and the v11 um so there's no wonder I've got a few views. And it's exciting to hear that a few of you have already placed orders for, whoa, there's a big bump. A couple of orders, oh my, midges everywhere. Uh, orders for the S18. No V11s yet. Um, but we'll see, time will tell. I did, you seen that, uh, that clip of that guy on the the S18 going backwards. It's going backwards one foot on the opposite side. So good, the skills are amazing. <laughs> it, it, is a, it is a sexy wheel, isn't it? Oh my goodness. So yeah, here we are. I'm gonna head out to uh, Mount Beckwith where I was this morning on the wheel, and on the wheel, with, uh, with Mika out there for a little walk. It was good, man, it was good. So we're gonna see if, I've not actually rode out there yet. So times like this, I, 
um, terrain like this would be great to have a bit of suspension, wouldn't it? Oh. Uh, I've still got this stock. Let's go over these humps a little bit and make it a bit more interesting. Whee! I've still got this stock grip, which I haven't decided to change over yet. I thought I'd stick with it a little bit as it's a bit dry. Um, and see how we, yeah, see how we go. <laughs> yeah, this is way more challenging and more, uh, more exciting style of riding, isn't it? <laughs> what um, boy, that's a big jump. <laughs> what uh, what sort of distances do you guys do? You know, I think I need to spend a bit more time just getting out on the wheel and clocking in some miles because you know when I was on tour I'd go all day until that V8 battery was uh, was gone and um, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> you catch that oh there's midges like, in my ears <laughs> yeah I'd go for hours um, but not fast you know that's how I could really maintain get the distance on the V8 because like I wouldn't be hitting speeds like I am now, and I'd also I'd also challenge uh, challenge travel with my my charger. So when I was at a coffee shop, because that was a go really. <laughs> yeah, boy, this is so much fun. Um, yeah, I take the charger with me. So we go out to the coffee shop, check out some cool scenery, the architecture. And charge it up and keep on going. Oh man, sorry about that. I couldn't. Can't believe how many midges there are. But uh, how good is this camera? So before I shot that last video, I'd never, never tried it or experimented with it until that that day. And getting some good feedback from you guys, it's the the horizon leveling is. It's just amazing. I just turn it up and down, around and around. And you can see, like, if I we just oh, there's a big jump. If I just like, and if you see me, I'll just rotate it like this, rotating, turning, and it just <laughs> it keeps it all level. And I'm on the smaller pole as well, so it does give quite a an extreme wide angle. So it actually means that I don't have to have my arm so far away or have such a long pole. Whereas before, on the ultra, whoa, ultra wide angle. <laughs> right, we got through the, that portion. We'll go, we'll go on this road here. We've got Matt Beckwith on the right here. We'll fly up here on this wheel. So we can get to that little top speed. Wait for the beeps. There we go. So, because the because uh, the wheel's fully charged, I go to the beeps. Oh, I have my beeps on max volume as well, and then I'll just back off ever so slightly and allow the wheel to, you know, because it tilts back a little bit. Allow the wheel to put you this side because of the sunshine. Allow the wheel to tilt back and then let it ease in and just sit just before the before the beep. On these long stretches which I'm sure most of you guys do anyway but um, you know as the battery level drops I certainly don't hang out that that close to max speed because we don't want you know I guess wheels like in motion and King Song and I guess nine bot you know they're they're pretty good at keeping it safe but if you're on a, a gotway it's a little bit different isn't it um, I was saying yeah the camera it's turned out amazing the only problem with it, if I'm being picky, is that it doesn't have any lens protection. So it has um, just a, like a round, like the old GoPro lenses, has no protection on it. And I was using it in the backyard of the trampoline. I left it on the side and I jumped on the tramp and it like flipped off and it, made, it marked one of the lenses. Um, and I was like, oh shit, I couldn't like rub it off. Like initially, anyway, and I thought, oh, okay, I guess I'll just have to invest in a replacement lens. But it turns out you can't replace—you can't just replace the lens. 
you've got to buy a whole new camera. So luckily I was able to get one of those. No, it was like, oh my word, look at this. Oh. <laughs> Holy shit, almost come off the wheel then. Did you see that? This is, I mean, this is a good test for the, the motor here. <laughs> I'm squeezing hard with my... Oh, I've got to come off that, isn't it? We got some clear road over here. Oh, bloody hell, things are jiggling about then. <laughs> oh, yeah, my feet were definitely creeping forward there because I don't have the, the grip tape on it. I don't know what I was talking about now. What was I talking about? I've completely forgot. All that jiggling is uh, throwing my thought off, my thought process. Anyway, we're coming up to the turning here for Mount Beckwith. We'll just do a, we'll just go around the bottom. Uh, oh crap, what was I talking about? I've completely forgot. You're probably shouting at the screen now, telling me. Anyway, I'm probably just jibber jabbering like we do. Oh, flipping heck. Uh, come on, up we get. Oh, oh, flipping, hello. I flipped the freaking front of the wheel then. That's where, this is where, like, I hope you can see how this is really bouncing around here. Oh, oh. This is where the suspension. Oh. oh. That S18 or V11 oh, would come in bloody useful, wouldn't it? For these sort of trails. And then uh, one of you guys are mentioning Gotway. I've announced what, August? So first I've heard of that, so that's flipping exciting. So what Gotway comes out with. Again, like I said in the last video, how cool is this? How epic is this? For such a small niche thing. There are these great companies that were sort of competing with each other to make these incredible things, these incredible devices. I was in town yesterday, my mate James, my me and man. Uh, if you're watching this, James, I agree you should sell your electric skateboard and get yourself hooked up with one of these amazing wheels. He's picked it up so quick, honestly, he's so quick. He does, you know, acro young guy um, got the balance picked up nice and quickly went for a, he's been having a go in the backyard on the V8 I was just waiting for this one so we go riding together and he um, yeah oh, we've got quite a bit of a see what this angle's like now maybe this one this one <laughs> uh, bumps going downhill uh. yeah went for his first ride yesterday he was getting the little speed wobbles. <laughs> but, um, you know, he loved it. Absolutely loved it. A car. Yeah, loved it. So hopefully, he can, uh, you know, get some funds from his skateboard and get hooked up with a... Oh, that's bright. Uh, an electric unicycle. Because they're epic. Yeah, I've not come here on my wheel before. It didn't take that long either. Ah, oh, flipping beautiful hour. Um, yeah, so happy, that's what I was talking about, the camera, wasn't I? Yeah, the lens got a bit, gets a bit scratched. <laughs> um, but look, I was able to get one of those like white spongy rub off eraser things that you get for your laptop screens or your keyboard and stuff and it uh, came off straight away so that was good so you can have these little um you get it in the box these like round curved plastic things you can put on the front of your lenses but i use that one of the brompton videos the first time i was using the 360 and when the sun gets on it it gives us this weird glare so uh, yeah i just, just got to be a bit more careful so yeah, this is so good because before I used to have to really try and focus on um, keeping the camera steady, but now it's on a shorter pole. So I, don't, I mean, I'm not really riding around anywhere. So here we are, we're in uh, Mount Beckworth. Oh, 
It's a state park. My eyes are just full of bugs. And we'll uh, we'll go up to the lake. I was looking at this trail. We were on this trail early today. And I do wonder if we can actually go up the hill. So I might give it a crack now, you know, whilst we're here. And because, uh, you know, why not? I'm not sure if I'll make it all the way up. But um, I might need to get some of those, you know, the pads on the side here. Something to lean into. I did just, I pulled this out. I forgot I had it. Um, so I pulled that out just because I'm being a bit special with my... Uh, New shiny V10F. Yeah, so some someone uh, commented, and I get this. You get this quite a lot. I had the same question, like just new to the new to the hobby, and he was finding that his legs were really sore, and I had the same problems. My calves were just in pieces when I first started riding. And um, look, it's, when you when you like when you're learning any new sport hobby, your body tends to tense up more than it needs to, doesn't it? So when I'm learning a new trick or something, your body, yeah, is using more energy and locking in uh, your body for the balance aspect mainly than it needs to. You know, so the more and more you ride, you know, like we'll start riding by squeezing our legs in like this. But, you know, as you get better and more comfortable and you're able to distribute the weight evenly and have control of the weight distribution on both of these legs, you can then just move the wheel around. Um, I wasn't sure what wheel he had, but, you know, the heavier the wheel, uh, like this compared to the V8 or like a V5 or the 14 S4, uh, 14S, S14, Kingston 14S, is it? I can't remember. You know, the lighter it is, the easier it's going to be. So depending on the weight, but the practice basically, like everything, you just got to keep doing it, make sure you stretch your legs, um, and also like footwear as well, you know, I, I've just, I, these are like zero drop shoes, we'll go over it, so zero drops, so the heel and toe is completely flat, which I find way more comfortable for just daily life, but also daily life. For a daily, but also on your wheel. So, because if you've got a big heel, you're all already in that position there. So, you might need to adjust how your wheel sits level. Um, so, you're not already tilted forward. If you're already tilted forward, it's going to feel a bit uncomfortable. So, footwear is a really, you know, really big one. If you can have a flat, flat soles is better. I, I, I personally find that more comfortable. Um, and then also, what I don't, what not many people seem to touch on is or like a recommendation, which I've just sort of was thinking about through the comments I was answering earlier, is um, recommendations for wheels for, you know, like if you're on the taller, heavier side, um, then look, maybe a smaller wheel like a V8 um, is probably something that, I wouldn't recommend, you know, a good first wheel if you're going, if you're getting into the hobby, a wheel you could borrow or if you have access to, certainly a smaller wheel like that would be okay. But for now, for like long, long term, I would certainly look at, you know, like a King Song 18X or 18XL or a V10, V10F, that sort of thing. And it's just going to be a lot, lot more power in the motor um, and with a bigger battery you're going to get better distances and that sort of stuff and be a lot more balanced as well anyway look at where are we going let's give this a crack anyway shall we oh we should have put those pedals on so it's all uphill here and it's a bit sandy that's why i put the cover on just in case <coughs> we um we get a tumble we don't want to Scratch the new wheel. <laughs> when I picked this up and this first time in Bangkok, I was doing a little spin and bloody it span out of me straight away. And oh shit, hit my lens, hit your face. <sighs> so look, I'm 
I, I range around 80 ki uh, kilos and I'm like 5'10 um, so V8 was fine for me but you get bigger wheels like that so that's where I need a little push thing here I mean this is quite the incline here Ugh. need that MCM oh we go this way <sighs> Oh, there's a lot of push pressure in my legs here. But I tell you, what, I'm flipping impressed already. I came. This is where I came up earlier today. I thought, I wonder if we could get the wheel up. Oh, I'm squeezing the calf now. I'm watching out not to. Yeah, look, I'm not sure if we can go up any further. Nope. <sighs> <laughs> So that's where we wanted to go. Maybe with the new uh, MSP. The MSP would have no problems. No problems going up there. But that's all right. Yeah, I'm not sure if we get up there. Yeah, no. If I had a bit of speed under it, we probably could, but... Let me have a look. If we get a bit of... Nah, there's just no way. No way. If I was 70 kg, maybe. Come on. It won't even move, mate. It won't even bloody move. No, nothing. Yeah, I need to get some of those pads on the side here. Down there like that, the old Coogee pads. <laughs> Seen a, a website in the UK selling them now. Like, Looks like they've been properly like foam... Foam moulded, 90 quid, which look, they look great, and I'm not knocking them. If I, had, if I could afford 90 pounds plus delivery, that's almost 200 bucks. And I'm sure, you know, small company making them, that sort of thing, you want to make a bit of money for one. Um, but I do have a bunch of... I see how Kuji makes them. The foam that he uses is quite it's quite expensive. Um like that fabrication foam. But I do have uh some cheap like gym mats which you can cup up, which gym mats are really cheap. No like the what what do you call them? Wee <laughs> Wee oh, they like clip together like Legos. Yeah, get some of them. And a bit of proper adhesive stuff. And you'd be sweet. There we go. So that's what I plan on doing after the next couple of days. Maybe I'll video it. Um, but it's the same as what Kuji does, basically. So I don't want to, like, replicate. He uses double-sided sticky tape. But I might just use some proper proper adhesive. Because, um, yeah, it might come apart. So we will see. But how nice is this? Now, these trails are sweet. Ugh. I could push the wheel up those trails, but... Ugh get to the top but this is this is pretty cool this is right near my house as well uh, uh. yeah so I had a few um, just comments regarding you know I spoke about my issues I had with the V10 the V10F that I got and I just wanted to talk about it just quickly in not more detail, just more about uh, what happened. And uh, you know, the guys over at E Riders left a really good comment on that video, so I go check it out. Because um, I don't want to, I don't want to give Emotion a bad name. Um, any any wheel company, really, I would never say. I don't think there is a bad wheel out there or a bad company. The amazing thing is there are. There's a company out there for everybody, for everybody's needs, right? If you want to go fast, if you want something fast and powerful and is a beast, you go for a gotway. 
You know, if you like that, you don't go for an emotion or a king song. If you want like looks, like the your nine bot, they, you know, they do some incredible wheels, and you know, they were some of the first ones out there. From like a beginner wheel nine bot, I don't know, I don't, I don't think they're even doing wheels. Like, did they, did they announce that they're not going to be um, putting any money towards any new wheels? I think that was it because they've not released any new wheels in a while have they um so yeah look the, the problems i ran into oh, was mainly because uh, in motion approached me i said yes i love a wheel but look i'm traveling at the moment i'm heading back to australia any chance i could just get it delivered to my home like delivered home but because the company like E-Riders, based in Australia now, they weren't up and running at that time. Or from what, I think that's correct. Um, that's what Inmotion told me anyway. They didn't have any distributors with a V10F in Australia at the time of me, of them asking if I would like the wheel. I was like, well, where else? You know, I'm going to Moscow. And there was one in Moscow, but because I was only there for a week, and then my tour was ending. It just seemed a little bit pointless. Let's go down here. <laughs> seemed a little bit pointless at the time. Um, so yeah, that's why I ended up in Bangkok. So I'm going to Bangkok on my way home to Australia. I got a bit of dental dental work done there, overdue. But you know, a lot cheaper than Australia, and it's you know really good quality, top notch stuff. Still ended up spending thousands of pounds on my bloody teeth again, but hey ho. <laughs> um, okay, let's get some someone's land now. Yeah, so I picked the wheel up from E Wheels. E Wheels uh, in Bangkok, who were amazing. He's such a good bloke, sorted me out a couple of times. Uh, when I was over there recently, visiting some friends when we went on holiday, I hung out with him. Uh, really nice guy solid so i got the wheel from him and I, like i said i just got this wheel that was a bit of a lemon <clears throat> and unfortunately just had a few problems now look if i was based in bangkok or i had got the wheel here in australia i would have had the warranty like it was under warranty but because i wasn't in the country it was all it was all over the place um so my only option really was thankfully i had e-riders who sort of took it on themselves to help me out, which they didn't have to. Um, and they, through their communications with Inmotion directly, were able to help do some sort of diagnostics with what was wrong with the wheel. And it was just, uh, just a, a longer process than it should have been. You know, normally if you buy a wheel from your distribute, your store, you work directly with them. So if I were lived in Bangkok, e-wheels, I was there, I could have just literally taken it back to them and they would have sorted it out. They would have been able to do a full diagnostics on the wheel, find out the problem and then sent me the exact replacement parts and also done all the replacing themselves and it would have been fine. So it's not, I went through the amount, of, I guess I made it sound like more of a big deal than it actually was. Because all the flipping out we're going to build now, all the motors I went through in the motherboard, it was all it was all trying to problem solve through emails and through Inmotion, my contact in Inmotion, the emails uh, and through e-riders and sort of like a trial and error, you know, because it was like the motor thing and then oh maybe it's the motor and the motherboard so. We just changed the motherboard, hoping that the motor wasn't really broke, but then it was a motherboard. And then the next step was going to be another brand new motor and a motherboard. So that's when E-Riders were like, look, we'll just let's start afresh with the battery and a new unit and uh, call it a day, which I'm so grateful for. Because look at me, I'm out in the woods, this is epic. <laughs> so yeah, look. For those who've who've uh, written to me saying that they've just got a V V10 or V V10F, look, I think it's an incredible wheel. I'm I'm still riding the wheel, obviously. I'm absolutely loving it. I have full faith. 
and trust in this wheel because um, I wouldn't you know I wouldn't be riding it if I thought the Inmotion V10F was a you know a dodgy wheel I would not put myself under that that risk and uh, you've seen me riding on this current road and all those wobbles and it's riding like an absolute beast we have dropped a bar though I think that was from going up uphill <laughs> so yeah look all in all it's a great wheel all right like every every bit of kit everything I don't know if you any bit of electronics there's always a chance isn't there of getting a bit of a dodgy wheel so that's why like now because this is under warranty through e-riders if anything was to go wrong I can just talk to them and we can figure it out straight away more smoothly and streamline rather than the strange process I had to go through which you know look I'm sure when in motion offered me the wheel they they you know they hoped that and I don't think it's um, made a huge impact or made people think twice about getting an in motion wheel because they're good wheels they're a good company so is King Song so is Gotway so is Ninebot all good wheels it's amazing we have such a choice so yeah what else were people saying flipping this is so cool I don't know why I didn't come out here before Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, it's getting pretty chilly now but bloody beautiful out oh yeah mic setup that was it so if you just look in the description <coughs> I set up this uh, Amazon click account thing which I've not made never I've not made any money off I don't think I think if you were to click on it and then buy it directly I might get like 50 cents or something like that but there's links there to show you what products I use and this is the, the Zoom H1N uh, audio which is in my pocket which is connected to this microphone that I bought which you can find in the link it was just a, a cheap one off Amazon and I literally just um, use this little strap on my chin here it's like a GoPro strap but it's a bit of Velcro just from what I had laying around and it's just inside here and then when I start the video I just do a little click and then when I edit it I just import the video with audio on here which is recording my audio and this and I just try and sync it up it's really easy to do and uh, these videos are even more easier to do now because when I turn the camera upside down and stuff like this <laughs> and I bring it up like that I would have to go in the edit and actually edit it and cut it and turn it flip it one uh, 180 degrees and flip it back and that sort of stuff but now because this new setup does it all for you which is flipping amazing flipping amazing all right that was quick flipping it we flew around here so this is the start of a trail which i like to do at mount beckworth um, over this way <laughs> yes yeah, so editing so much easier now let me know if you want to see uh, more 360 stuff which I do quite enjoy doing the editing for the 360 it's uh, it's yeah so cool so intuitive and really easy to do <laughs> Whoop. yeah man this is so cool there we go. This way. Yeah, I need those side pads. Flip the neck. Yeah, I'm gonna make them the next few days. Get that done because uh, this will certainly help me with uh, this sort of riding. Especially because. Like we make puppets and fabrication, that sort of stuff. That's what my partner does. We've got all the tools and the glues and everything. All the bits of rubber. Oh, just watching there for the... When I took one proper bail on the V8 ages ago, we uh, we clipped the uh, the pedal 
absolutely clipped the pedal and I flew. That's one thing you've got to be aware of when you're first riding these. Just be aware of the pedal, your pedal height, because uh, you can easily clip it on something. Wow. It's quite nice, isn't it? Look at the big boulder. It's a great place to look. Like, I'll bring my drone here and uh, fly the drone sideways and use that um, rock there as a subject. It's really cool. But there's a route that goes right up to the top. It's, it's not. They call it Mount Beckworth. It's not really... It's just a giant rock, which is it's so cool up there. Especially this time of year, there's uh, less chance of coming across any snakes. <laughs> I tend to avoid it during the summer. I'm not a uh, not a huge fan of those. I don't mind snakes, but you know when it's hot out, and I just tend to be out and about. But I've only seen I've only ever seen one snake in my whole time of being in Australia. I've been here for a few years now, um, and that was on that the Brompton video that I did. But yeah, man, this is so nice. It's funny, you know, depending on where you guys live, like, we I live right here and I don't take advantage of being this close. Um, you usually have to get in the car, but now I've got the wheel again. We can get out and about. Hopefully, my mate James hooks himself up with a, a wheel. I wonder what we will get. <laughs> what wheel he will get. James, if you're watching, mate, comment below. Let the people know what wheel you're thinking. Or let James know in the comments what wheel you think he should get. And, of course, the S18 is on everyone's minds. And the V11, of course. <laughs> oh, bloody beautiful ride. Honestly, I didn't expect to come all the way out here. I just get chatting, you know. <sighs> All right, let's head back. And I think there's a little, little bit in the ride we can like head in. I say we because we're all watching. We're all, you know, having the ride together. Yeah. How's everybody doing in lockdown anyway? Are people have people being able to get out and about on their wheels, their electrical devices during the lockdown? <laughs> I've been really lucky because because uh, of where I live. Like you know, Australia is a huge landmass, but a very small size population. And because of the major cities, there's only a couple of them. Um, and all the smaller towns are so far in between, so the spread hasn't been that crazy really. Um, and. Uh, lockdown rules have sort of started to relax a little bit in uh, different states. Like in Victoria, we're sort of one of the last states that hasn't really. Um, the restrictions are still there, but uh, so far it's you can go out in public. I say if you used to run a, like a fitness thing, you can have 10 people, but you still got to keep your 1.5 meter social distancing. Um, takeaway coffee that's still going but that's it really no businesses are really open you know things like all the supermarkets they're all restocked and people aren't losing their mind over toilet paper anymore so that's good there's a bit of a different type of normality coming back which I'm sure you know it's been as you know as heavy as it's been with people um, losing their lives and you know, family members passing away, that sort of stuff. You know, it's hard times, isn't it? But it has been quite, quite incredible having everybody on this planet on the same page and people showing amazing signs of compassion for one another because we're all compassionate creatures. We just get lost. I myself, we all get lost in the rat race of working and providing and having fun and that sort of stuff and thinking of ourselves way too much so easy to think of ourselves instead of uh, ourselves as individuals instead of as all as a whole um, so hopefully the normality that we're all craving 
it'll be a different type of normality you know it's not going to be the same you know what will this virus be will it be it sounds like it's just going to be another virus that will exist amongst all the other viruses that were are all there um, and we just live with it and we don't stress our hospitals and that sort of stuff so yeah well, what what are you guys looking forward to how are you guys doing for work i hope everyone's doing all right um as you know i'm not well i'm doing i'm doing okay like we live out in the country we try to keep things as basic and as minimal as possible oh no oh no oh no bro i think i've uh have i really been talking that long no is the battery <gasps> the battery's died all right well i'll have to finish this off another time maybe tomorrow all right friends signing off live life and love all the best i'll see you in the uh the next video peace Bye.